Hello, I'm Richard Martin. Welcome to GW Sports Today. A former All-American tight end at UCLA and played four years professionally with the Indianapolis Colts, current ESPN studio analyst Charles Arbuckle stopped by Gardner Webb to talk to one of the sports management classes about some of the most pressing topics in sports today. When I got to the league, I did an internship every year. And I think for me, that was good because it opened my eyes up to a lot of different avenues and gave me opportunities to see things differently. This past week, Gardner Webb sports management classes were able to talk to former UCLA tight end and current ESPN studio analyst Charles Arbuckle about many topics hitting the sports world today. Arbuckle was able to talk with students about their papers about different pressing topics, such as Colin Kaepernick, HB2's effect on the NCAA and ACC championships, and CTE. Arbuckle did not hold it back any punches as he talked about his experience with concussions as well in the league. I took it upon myself to play, so I have to take some ownership of that risk as well. But if you have the technology and you know that there is this issue, or there are issues, let us know what those are. And each year we keep saying, well, there are a hundred more concussions or hundreds of more concussions that we didn't tell you that were there. So I think that's, I have a problem with that, but I can't, I can't ever say, I can't ever pillage my, the thing that I played for, right? but I can say that was wrong, and I think they know that was wrong. Arbuckle also spoke about leadership and his drive to succeed and get jobs that eventually landed him a job at ESPN. I got hurt in college a couple of times, and I knew, I, I, I knew I could make it to the NFL, but I knew there was uh, other things that if I didn't get the education piece done right, because when you get to college, I'm sure like you guys, when you first get here, you have all this business of what you're going to do if you play sports, if, even if you don't, you have your mindset on certain things. I thought I was going to play 12, 15 years in the National Football League and own businesses and do all this. Well, that, that works out for you, but the minute I got hurt my sophomore year, I started thinking, I need to do some internships. And we're going to keep rolling here with some highlights. First, women's soccer on the road at Presbyterian. And this was a defensive one. Keeley Brown had a fantastic game. Look at this save right here. Point blank distance. And later on, another great save by Brown. In the first overtime right here, this goal looks like it's going in. Just saved and knocked out. In the 109th minute, Sam Grove. Scores the game winner for Gardner-Webb, and Gardner-Webb knock off the Blue Hose 1-0 in Clinton, South Carolina. Continuing on, we're going to football now as Gardner-Webb took on Benedict College this past weekend. Second quarter, 0-0, not for long. Khalil Lewis uh, takes this nice little stroll into the end zone to put the dogs up 7-0. Later on in the quarter, Tyrell Maxwell, he's going to power his way through for a 7-yard touchdown run, and the dogs will go up. 14-0 on the Tigers. Still in the second quarter. Here's his pass to Mike Estes. And with that, Mike Estes completes the trifecta. He is now the greatest tight end in Big South history as he now leads all tight ends in Big South history in yards, receptions, and touchdowns. Later on, right before the half ends, Jalen Foster gets this pick right here, thrown right to him, and that would set up a Paul Schumacher field goal which would give the Dogs a 24-0 lead going into the half. And the Dogs would not put on the brakes at all. Third quarter, Khalil Lewis runs right back into the end zone again. And, man, he'd do it one more time with three touchdowns on the day for Lewis. Khalil Lewis would finish with 15 attempts for 112 yards to lead all rushers in this game. Then later on in the fourth quarter, Corey Horn forces the fumble, and Jalen Foster picks it up, and he could go all the way and he does Jalen Foster with his first career touchdown for the dogs and that would do a 45 nothing win for Gardner Webb over Benedict College on Saturday night now let's look at what's going on this week in Gardner Webb Athletics and this week in Gardner Webb Athletics it's the Battle of the Bulldogs this Tuesday in Paul Porter Arena as volleyball takes on UNC Asheville at 7 o'clock on Wednesday October 5th Men's soccer heads just up the road for another battle of the Bulldogs as they will take on UNC Asheville at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Here on Wednesday, women's soccer will be at home taking on rival Liberty. That game is also set for 7 o'clock at Green Harvison Stadium. Friday, October 7th, cross country will be just up the road in Charlotte for the Queens Invitational. They will start at 4 o'clock. Men's golf will head just up the road to Chapel Hill, North Carolina this weekend as they compete in the Tar Heel Intercollegiate. That starts this Friday. 
Saturday, women's soccer is at home to Radford, and that game will kick off at 4 p.m. And then right after that, going to the Spangler Stadium as football is at home to Presbyterian for their first conference game. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. That one's going to be available on the Watch ESPN app. And finally, women's golf heads down to Spartanburg for the Terrier Invitational. That will start October 9th and finish up October 11th. Thank you for watching. To check out all the student news, check us out at gw-today.com. If you've already got no sporting news, check out gwsports.com. I'm Richard Martin, and let's go dogs.